Hello everybody, it's Kari Rama and I am here today. I'm excited. I am I am moving on from circus and I decided to do some fairy kind of forest theme stuff. So last night I started gathering some things because I did start a while back but I never finished my journal. So I pulled all that stuff out and one of the things that I love is mushrooms. And I just happened this morning to get on YouTube, having my coffee, and I saw a video that was by Janet Nash. And oh my goodness, it was just, I was so excited. You know when you watch something and you just can't wait to get into your studio space or craft room and, and start creating? That's what I was like all day today, and I was running around, running errands and doing things, but she does a lot of slow stitching. I'm new to her channel and just loving her work, and her videos are so soothing to watch. Um, and I've never really done slow stitching, so this is really new for me, um, but the perfect thing to start. Um, she had suggested you know, if you want to make a template. So I did start with a template and I just did a big circle, cut it in half and then shaped, you know, the top of my the mushroom caps. Um, and the stock is pretty easy because you can, you can make a tall mushroom or, you know, you can put the, the cap wherever you want to. But I actually didn't even really use these. I think what I'm going to do here, I have my pieces but I think I'm still because see if you put this on top it's going to have the lump there so they really need to be flush against each other so I think I'm going to glue mine down to some I have some brown packing paper here that I think would work just wonderfully and then cut them out and then do my slow stitch on top of it Okay, so I'm starting the process here and speeding up the video because this is pretty easy. I'm just gluing my shapes down and putting them together on this brown packing paper. I like this paper because it's it's pretty sturdy, but yet it's not cardstock, so it's it will be easy for me to punch through with the needle to do any kind of stitching when I want to add my embellishments, if I want to do slow stitching or add some buttons. So here you can see I finished gluing down um, some of the mushrooms and I'm just going to put them aside and let these dry and then I'll cut the shapes out. So just FYI, I did try to just stick some of them together to glue the cap on top of the stem, and I didn't like it. I ended up going back and switching them and just putting them on some packing paper or something because I definitely like them just being flush. Otherwise, they don't. I'm afraid they won't lay right when we try to use them in journals. So here I'm just kind of showing you some of them that I cut out and trying to figure out which one I want to start working on with this turquoise thread. So I am using this long needle because it is easier to kind of poke through the packing paper plus the fabric has the backing on it. So it's definitely easier than using a small needle. And like I said, I really have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to any kind of stitching, embroidery. I've never really been a fabric person, although I love working with fabric in my junk journals. Um, I guess this is the back stitch that I was doing. And I'm just kind of going around to outline the, um, the mushroom.
And I'm really just playing around here tonight. This is the first night playing um, with the with the stitches. And I do go in and take some out and switch them because I wasn't very happy with them. But here I'm just making some little, I guess it's a cross stitch, some little X's just in the darker part of the mushroom cap. Hello, it's Mushroom Mania here. I thought I would just check in here and show some of the stuff that I'm doing. These guys aren't done yet. I have some more over here. I've been going completely bonkers. Just, I have no idea what I'm doing with slow stitch, but you know, you really can't mess up junk journals. That's one of the reasons I love them so much. Like just stitches and it looks cute, right? There's the one that I like, the big, the big stem. Let's see, some other ones here. Added a little button to this guy. And I have all of these here. I love the blue and orange. Here's the little mini one I just put some stitches on. Another one with the button and I put some red stitches. And I love these with the gold. So, and that's all I'm doing. Just going around and seeing if I want to add anything to these guys. So maybe we'll add some gold with this one. Let's see, where's my gold? So if you guys have done slow stitch projects before, I would love to hear about what you've done i always love when i see the work um you know it's like a like fabric collage and i just always think it looks so amazing but i haven't taken the time to just sit and kind of figure it out and practice so it's been kind of a fun and relaxing little learning ex experience here so let's see, we'll do this guy. I've just been kind of winging it and making marks. And I'm, I have the paper on the back, so it's kind of hard to poke through. So I'm using this larger um, needle I found is just easier. So I can kind of press down on it. So if you do something like this and you don't have experience like me, um, I would say it's probably better to wait until after you do your stitches to do the, um, you know, the if you want to do a, a paper backing on it or something. Just kind of doing whatever and going around like this area here to put some gold in. I am back here it is day number two and I'm back with my mushrooms this video is going to be a little bit different I had somebody tell me that I always know what I'm doing that my videos are 
are, you know, and I think because I, I do a lot of experimenting before I do a video. Um, and so this time I'm kind of, you're following along with me here. We're on this journey together. <laughs> um, but when this person said that to me, I just laughed because I never know what I'm doing. And, you know, I'm just kind of running with it. You know, I get one little idea and I just run with it and see what happens. Um, so there's a couple of things that I realized here. Well, first of all, I've got a little, some embellishments here. I have some buttons in this really beautiful bowl from my friend Christine Sturkey. You can't see the bottom of it, but isn't it so nice? It's ceramic. And I just love it here on my desk with my buttons. And then I got these, um, they came with a pack of seed beads. So I don't know, we'll see if we use those. Just grab them to have them out here for when we do embellishing. And I have a bunch of different um, threads here. Okay, so what I realized though, a couple of these, like this mushroom, I had put some red going around it, red or yellow, I think yellow, and it wasn't very good. <laughs> so, and I really like this mushroom. So I cut that part off and I'm going to try to redo it. And let's see, there was another one this one. I love this one, but I am not 100% sure about the outline part, so I might redo this one. All right, these are all from yesterday. This is another one that's very wonky looking, a little n not so much on the wonky looking cool side, so <laughs> I think I think I need to make the stem fatter, the stalk. I need a fatter stock and I need to take this it almost looks like football or something <laughs> so I want to redo this one because I really like it other than that part and then these are what I was kind of playing around with last night here and let me see on the video okay so there is see how it's like you know this thicker fabric and then we have this big bump up here um, I just kind of glued these together. I didn't, I thought, well, let me see what happens rather than gluing them on to my packing paper. Definitely like the packing paper better. I was kind of wondering if I should wait, you know, and put the packing paper on after, you know, I do all of the the slow stitch, the, the sewing, but no, I need to do it now because that's bothering me. So there are a couple of them. This is another one because the top piece here is very thin and then this is thicker down here. So it's not gonna lay very nice in our in our books. So another one here. Yeah, quite a few. And then I have some new ones that I just want to, um, to glue together here. So that's what I'm gonna do first. And then after I glue these down, I wanna start doing some slow stitch and I'm gonna start with fixing these. So that is what I'll be doing here. And I'm just gonna use book pages to put these together. And I am using Mod Podge fabric glue and so I am going to speed things up and while we just do this little process here and then I will come back on when I'm ready to embellish.
Okay, everybody, <laughs> I'm checking back in and this is why I need to open up an Etsy shop because every time I make something, I go so crazy with it. Like, what am I, look, what am I possibly going to do with all of these mushrooms? <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, I could make several journals that are just mushroom journals and you know, I've got plenty here, but I want to show you what I did here. So, oh, I didn't fix this one. I fixed this one. Um, I did just go back around it with the red instead of the yellow and put the white button on. I like these much better now. This one I cut off the orange going around the edges. So I like this better now. It's a cute color, right? And what else did I do? Okay. So then with my embellishments, I started getting, um, let me get some down here so you can see these embellishments that I get from, oops. Now I just pulled some down and they all happen to be really thick. Okay, so from Sheila Ging Gingrich and I absolutely love these for embellishments. So see this piece, how thick it is, but I could actually cut it here. I could cut it here. I mean, you could cut how many strips out of this? Very few projects that you would use this whole entire piece. Um, these, I've actually just cut, you know, one or two little pieces and to embellish a project, a little something, a little bit of bling. They're beautiful. So I will put Sheila's information um, in the description box if you're interested in these. They're just fantastic. And she does have a bunch of um, trims and fabric. She hand dyes fabric. So a lot of really beautiful things that she has. These are just a couple example pieces. I got those out and I love playing with her things because they're so fancy. And so all of these really, let me show some of them here. So see the mirror, the pieces there, those are, those are just one individual strip from her, one of her packages that I got. Here's more. Okay, let me see if I can get it to, okay, so here's one. Completely different. Um, that one doesn't have any of the, the gems on. But just it's perfect right just the perfect amount of something there and then even this um, with a little bit of fringe and with the gems I'm not even paying attention to which ones I've picked up and which ones I haven't picked up here but I don't know, look how cute these two are. Stinking adorable, right? Okay, so I mean, this is kind of the direction that I went. Um, and I am, I don't know, I'm not sure that I will go back and do anything else to these, but you know, you, you never know. <laughs> because I seem to not quite know uh, exactly what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, look how many of these I have. Just, it's crazy, right? Some larger ones in here. I like those colors. All different shapes and sizes and colors. And I do have a lot of little minis. Oh, this beaded part is from one of those also. And I used the, um, E6000 glue to put those on um, and uh, you know if you guys have used this before you just need a little you know dab and it definitely it holds it on there 
So anyway, I just wanted to share how these little adorable mushrooms have ended up here. I'll put them in my little mushroom box. And if you would decide to try any, I would love to see. If you post any pictures, feel free to tag me anytime. I'd love to, you know, share ideas and inspiration and see what everybody's up to and what everyone is creating. And I thank you as always for supporting my channel. Thanks for watching.